வெல்கம் டு லேர்னிங் மேக்ஸ் வைட் போர்ட் யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ ஆரியப்பட்டா கணித் சேலஞ்ச் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி த்ரீ ஸோ பார்ட் டூ கொஸ்டின் ஸோ ஆல்ரெடி போஸ்டட் அ ஒன் வீடியோ தட் இஸ் பார்ட் ஒன் வீடியோ விச் கண்டெயின்ஸ் ஒன் டூ கொஷின் நம்பர் ஒன் டூ கொஷின் நம்பர் டென் நாவ் இட் இஸ் கொஷின் நம்பர் லெவன் டூ கொஷின் நம்பர் டுவெண்ட்டி ஸோ ஃபஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் ஸ்ட்ரைட் அவே விச் மீன்ஸ் லெவன்த் கொஸ்டின் ஸ்ட்ரைட் அவே இன் அ கம்பெனி த டோட்டல் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் ஆஃப் டூ எம்ப்ளாயீஸ் ஏ இயர்ஸ் the manager's experience is 4 times a 6 years hence the manager experience will be equal to sum of experiences of both employees find the manager's present experience okay so the total experience of two employees a so x is a okay so total employees so total employees experience that is a and then manager experience is manager m experience is uh, equals to 4 times a 6 years hence which means after 6 years the manager experience will be equal to sum of the experience of both employees okay sum of the experience of both employees so both employees x is a one employee and y is a one employee the total experience of x and y so x plus y which is equal to a years and manager experiences will be equal to 4 times a and then 6 years hence after 6 years the manager experiences uh, will be equal to after 6 years so that we have to add plus 6 will be equal to sum of the uh, both i mean sum of the experience of both employees sum of the experience of both employees so that x plus 6 y plus 6 so m plus 6 so already we know that x plus y that is a 6 plus 6 that is 12 so m we all know that that is 4a m replaced by 4a which is equal to a this 6 goes to there now that is minus 6 12 minus uh, 6 that is plus 6 so 4a which is equal to plus 6 so 3a which is equal to 6 and which implies a equal to 2 so a equal to 2 uh, that is for uh, employees years we are asking find the manager's percentage manager percentage which is equal to 4 times a which means 4 into 2 so the manager experience is, which is equal to 4 into 2 that is 8 years so 8 years is a correct answer so 8 years option d is a correct answer okay next 12th question given that 2 into 5 power x equal to 10 divided by cube root of 25 find the value of x given that 2 into 5 power x which is equal to so we need to take cube so cubing two die two sides 2 into 5 power x whole cube which is equal to 1000 divided by 25 so 125 25 40 okay next 2 power cube into 5 power 3x which is equal to 40 so 2 power cube nothing but of 8 5 power 3x which is equal to 40 188 5 times so 5 3x which is equal to 5 power 1 so 3x equal to 1 x equal to 1 by 3 so this is the correct answer x equal to 1 by 3 so it is available in option a it is available in option a so option a is 1 by 3 next question so next question again uh, exponents and powers find for any positive integer m 3 power 3 m plus 2 minus 9 power 3m actually here it is m so that is a, a incorrect question here so minus 3 power 3m divided by 2 plus 1 by 27 whole power minus m minus 1 we need to find uh, so for any positive integer m so is divided by what for any positive integer m the whole answer is divided by option a 2 or 13 or c 7 or d 11 so now 3 power 3m plus uh, sorry int 3 square we can split this and then here uh, 9 can be written as 3 square whole power 3m by 
टू देन प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन पावर एम प्लस वन ओके नेक्स्ट थ्री पावर थ्री एम थ्री नाइन माइनस सो दिस स्क्वायर एंड दिस स्क्वायर कैंसिल इच अदर सो थ्री पावर थ्री एम प्लस थ्री पावर थ्री एम प्लस थ्री एम सॉरी इंट थ्री पावर थ्री ओके सो ट्वेंटी सेवन कैन बी रिटर्न एस थ्री पावर थ्री सो दैट दिस पावर वन मींस दैट इस थ्री पावर थ्री नाउ लेट अस लुक एट हियर सो थ्री पावर एम थ्री पावर एम एंड थ्री पावर एम सो सेम इन ईच एंड एवरी टाइम्स इट एस थ्री टाइम्स सो ईच एंड एवरी टाइम थ्री पावर थ्री एम इस सेम सो वी कैन टेक आउटसाइड एस दैट सो व्हिच इंप्लाइज नाइन माइनस वन प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन सो व्हिच इंप्लाइज थ्री पावर थ्री एम सो दिस इस अ वैल्यू ऑफ नाइन माइनस वन प्लस ट्वेंटी so 35 is a number it is only divisible by 7 here for considering these four options 7 is a only number which divides 35 so that answer is 35 for any value of m that is the given question for any value of m so uh, this 35 only divisible by 7 according to the given option so option c 7 is a correct answer next question the sequence 3 20 37 54 71 and another sequence uh, 16 27 38 49 60 71 each have 71 as a common term okay so there there are two sequence first sequence 3 20 37 54 71 and second sequence 16 27 38 49 60 71 So each sequence, uh, each sequence has seventy one as a common term, so that they are asking the next term of the sequence have in common. So what is the next common term for both the sequence? So we need to find the difference of two sequence. First one is difference is seventeen. Next sequence different difference is eleven. Okay, so this is D two. And this is D one. D one means first sequence difference and second sequence difference is eleven. So we need to take. So here, what is the concept common? So common means we have one term in math, least common multiple. So we have to take LCM for seventeen and eleven. So LCM of seventeen and eleven is. So seventeen and eleven both are prime numbers. So we can directly multiply to find the LCM. So the answer is seventeen seventeen one eighty seven. So one eighty seven is a LCM of these two answer. I mean these two numbers seventeen and eleven. So we need to add that this is a least common. So we need to add seventy one here plus seventy one. First to find the LCM of seven differences. Okay, and then add the first common term. First common term seventy one. If you add that, you will get two five eight. So two five eight option C is a correct answer for this question. Next fifteenth question. Find the remainder and the last digit of the quotient. So now look at here. We need to find R as well as quotient last digit of the quotient. If the quotient is three hundred and twenty one something else, the last digit of quotient is one. So that we have to find like that. Okay. So now consider the solution part. Now I am going to use uh, normal division method. So twenty four digits are there. Okay. So first I will put uh, some of the numbers. So it is div divided by seven. So one seven is seven. So remainder is four forty one. So forty one means uh, we need to put uh, five seven is thirty five. So next obviously six sixty one. Eight seven is fifty six. And now this time. Five, fifty-one, seven, 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 forty-nine, and the remainder is two, twenty-one. Ah, this time you will get three. Okay, now look at here three. So now listen here three twenty-one. It is cancel. So now we need to take another number which is one. So first six numbers it is okay. First look at here one. Already one, two gone, three, four, 
5, 6. So first considering 6 ones, so there is a answer 1, 5, 8, 7, 3. Next you have a 0, 1, 5, 8, 7, 3. 1, 5, I mean 0, 1, 5, 8, 7, 3. So your remainder is 0, okay, because 21 is the last number, so it is divisible by 7, that is 3, 7, sir. So your last digit is 3, quotient of last digit 3 and remainder 0. So the answer is A, 0, 3. Next, 16th question. So 16th question, it is a formula, volume of frustrum. So bucket in the sense, that is frustrum, volume of frustrum. So volume of frustrum, we all know that uh, volume of frustrum pi h divided by 3 into r square plus small r into capital R plus small r square. So this is the formula to find the volume of a frustrum. So if you use h as 40 and one r is 35 and another r is small r is capital R 35 and small r 14. If you substitute all the things in this given formula, you will get the answer 880 okay so 880 centimeter cube which means cubic centimeter so option c is a correct answer next uh, for h positive integer n so we have to use n for positive integer so we all know that what is positive integer 1 2 3 etc that is a positive integer so we have to substitute n equal to 1, 2, 3 for this given term which means n power 4 minus 3 n square plus 9. So there will be one answer. Anyway, if you put n equal to something, you will get an immediate output. That is an answer. In that answer, final answer, which are all prime, you have to add it. They are asking then the sum of all f of n which are prime is. Okay. First, let us let us going i mean let us uh, consider 1 so 1 power 4 minus 3 plus 9 so 1 minus 3 plus 9 that is 7 so 7 is a prime number it is okay so we need to take sum of 7 plus next f of 2 so if you put f of 2 now 2 power 4 16 minus uh, 3 square i mean 3 uh, 12 you will get eventually you will get next 9 okay so this time you will get uh, 25 minus 12 that is 13 so 7 plus 13 because 13 is a prime number and 7 is also prime number if you put n equal to 3 and n equal to 4 now you will get composite number so uh, there is no prime number available for after you put n equal to 3 4 5 etc so 7 plus 13 is only prime number for this expression so the answer is 20 so option d consider 20 as an answer so option d 20 is a correct answer for this question next one 18th one a b c d is a rectangle okay so now look at here a b c d is a rectangle with a d 10 centimeter and the shaded region shaded region area so this is shaded region area that is 100 square centimeter then the shortest distance between two semicircle. So this is a first semicircle and this is a second semicircle. They are asking shortest distance. Okay. Now we all know that shaded area is 100. We need to find the two semicircle area. Uh, I want the total area of the given picture. So I know the shaded region, but I don't know the unshaded region. So unshaded region is uh, look like uh, a semicircle so two semicircle is there i can consider as a whole circle so that pi r square i used so here it is a semicircle but if you join the two semicircle it will create one circle so that's why i use pi r square formula so here r is 5 because ad is 10 that is diameter is 10 now r is obviously 5 so the answer is 25 pi centimeter square for unshaded region so this is for unshaded region in shaded region 100 so the total area which is equal to 100 plus 25 pi 100 plus 25 pi so that is a, a total region total area region okay now it is also equal to uh, area of a rectangle area of a rectangle which means 
L into B, which means L into B. I know that the value of B, B is 10. So 100 divided, 100 plus 25 pi divided by 10, that is equal to L. I need to find the value of L. If I find the value of L, I can subtract this value and this value. Okay, that is 5 phi because R is 5 and R is 5. If I subtract L minus 10, okay, I'll get the shortest distance. So I need to find L first. So L is, uh, we can take uh, 5 as a, 25 as a common part here. So 25, if you take now 4 plus pi divided by 10. Okay, so 2 tens and here 5. So 5 by 2, that is 2.5. 4 plus 5 so that is equal to L so this is equal to L we can also multiple 2.5 or not 10 plus 2.5 pi so 2.5 4 times if you multiple now you will get 10 so 2.5 into pi 2.5 pi so this is L okay this is L we need to subtract minus 5 minus 5 because here minus 5 and here minus 5 so totally we have to subtract minus 10 from L. So already plus 10 is there. A plus 10 minus 10 cancel. So the remaining answer is 2.5 pi centimeter. So that is option A. 2.5 pi centimeter. That is the shortest region. Shortest distance between two semicircle. Next 19th question. So this is a figure question. Which of the following cubes cannot be made from the unfolded cube? So you can look at the image, you will find the answer. Anyway, the answer is option D is the incorrect image here. Option A and B, C, that is the correct image. They are asking incorrect image. So 19th one, D is the answer. Next 20th question. In the given figure, A, B, C, D is a square. The angle A, E, F, 45 degree. The ratio of A, F and F, B is 2 is to 1. So AF is 2 and FB is 1. So this is a uh, square. Square we uh, know that all sides are equal. So 2 plus 1 na, 3 and here also 3. So the area of square is 3 square. So 3 square obviously 9. So this is area of square. Okay next uh, this is area of square. Next we have to find the uh, area of this one which means a f i mean f e c they are asking a find the ratio of area of a triangle c f c f no this blue color triangle and we all know that ratio of a, a triangle and uh, rect i mean square a b c d area of a triangle divided by area of a square a b c d so we uh, we have to uh, use uh, area of a triangle formula of b into h to every outside triangle we have to find the outside triangle this triangle and this triangle and this triangle for this triangle of b into h because this is a right angle triangle and this is also right angle triangle and this is also right angle triangle so if we use 1 by 2 b is 2 and h is also 2 so 4 by 2 you will get 2 and then this triangle you will get 3 by 2 and this triangle you will get 3 by 2. So 9 minus 2 minus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 which is 4. So the inside triangle area of inside triangle 4 and square area of a square is 9. So 4 divided by 9 that is the ratio of the given question. So 4 divided by 9 that is option A. So uh, thank you viewers, thank you for watching this video, uh, another part I will post another video, stay tuned.